Okay, clearly getting a little lazy with how I'm cropping these pictures. That's okay. So we have a nice cone inscribed uh, with we have a cone inside of a square pyramid. The base of the cone is inscribed inside the base of the pyramid. So it says that we have a radius. The cone has a radius of four inches. Um, so that means that the square must have a side length, right? A side length of eight inches, right? Because the radius is half of the side length. So what we have to do is we have to find the area of the uh, area of pyramid. Area of pyramid. And we have to subtract the obviously not area, volume. Volume of period, subtract the volume of the cone. And that'll tell us the volume of the space between them. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the volume of the pyramid, which is base times uh, base times height divided by three. The height of the cone is six inches. That's what, or the height of the pyramid is six inches. That's what it says. So we're going to do eight times eight times six divided by three. That is uh, base, uh, length times width times height divided by three. Once again, it does say the pyramid has a height of six. Okay, sweet. So let's do this really quick. Eight squared times six. Eight times eight times six. Uh, eight. It's it's really just going to end up being eight times eight times two, which is one twenty-eight. But let's just double check that. Um, yeah, one twenty-eight. Okay, sweet. So this is equal to one twenty-eight. Okay, that's good. That is our volume of our pyramid. Okay, so now let's find the volume of the cone. That's going to be pi r squared times height divided by 3. So we do pi times 4 squared times 6 divided by 3. The reason we can do this is because it says the vertex of the cone. Uh, it says the vertex of the pyramid and the vertex of the cone are the same. The vertex of the cone is the vertex of the pyramid. So they have the same height. So now we'll do this really quick. Pi r squared times 6 divided by 3. Again, this is just going to be pi r squared times 2, but we will double check that. Pi times 16 times 6 and divide that by 3. It's 100.53. Sweet. So we get our 100.5. Oh my, this is a disaster. Um, 100.53. Sweet. That is the volume of the cone. Subtract the two now. 128 minus 100.53. All right, so that's going to be 27.47. Yes, 27.47 and it's inches, so we have to make sure we throw in an inches cubed to our answer. Okay, that's our final answer. We found it by finding the volume of the pyramid and subtracting the volume of the cone since the cone was inside of the pyramid. Only thing is, for full credit, this does say to round to the nearest tenth place, so this is going to round to 27.5, which is our real final answer. Inches cubed. Sweet.